Hey everyone, I'm sorry I'm so late with this with this video. Um, I u actually used to do it as just uh, cards, and I would I would post it as a short. And then I did one brief one as a really quick reading, and then I promised to do another one, and I don't know what it is. I almost didn't do it again tonight. I won't even tell you what the two meatballs behind me freaking did. I was gone for an hour today, an hour. I went to get a nice pedicure on my toes. I won't, I'm not even gonna tell you, but let's just say I had to pick it up for the next three hours and bathe somebody. I'm telling you. I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I thought I should get another dog. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough complaining. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christina from Christina of Light. Thank you for visiting with me here. When you watch my videos, you're always in a protective bubble of love and light watched over by all my guides and angels, and I am always in gratitude to them for this. And I guess this is going to be a weekly uh, reading that I'm going to do. And a channeled message from the Ascended Masters. Uh, it, start, it was starting to feel like that's what it was. Oh my god, I'm just trying to gather myself. I just, I just literally ate my dinner. Oh my god. These guys. All the plans I have for tonight. This meatball. I had to throw him in the friggin' tub. I'm like carrying like 60 pounds. Because he's like a big lug. He doesn't want to do anything. Unless he wants to do it. So I, I have to, like even when I take him to the vet. I gotta drag him into the car. I gotta drag him to the sidewalk. Drag him in the store. Oh my god, my squeezes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so peeled right now. It's a relaxing night. Was gonna paint my nails again. Oh. So I just pulled these. And right when I'm seeing is pretty much everything that's coming coming through right now. That's the, the one good thing about saying steady with, re, with reading the cards um, and, uh, along with the energy um, it, the consistency you can see the, the evolution of everything and what I feel this just is just a verification for the information that comes in and the, whatever I see. This is just soda water, folks. I'm not boozing it up after what happened tonight. <laughs> So, uh, Rama and Sita, Holy Union, soulmate connection, romantic opportunity. Um, this is absolutely, I've talked about this before in my, in past videos. For one, twin flame union is going to be very huge the, uh, the remainder of the year, but especially right now, especially with can we're in, in, uh, in cancer season. Um, uh, is going to be coming up and plus we're in Gemini right now which is the twins but this is also union of the feminine and masculine in oneself and I talk about this a, a lot too the toxic femininity and toxic masculinity uh, is is being worked through and processed um it is no longer able to be carried in the consciousness that uh, we're evolving into. 
it, this is, you know, it's going to happen. It is happening, and there's no way of stopping it. Things like this are just going to evolve, change, and dissipate, just like anything else would with evolution on this planet as, you know, people change, uh, times change. It's just the way it goes, but with the energy... Uh, we becoming more light beings and more conscious. It's raising that vibration and those energies. It, it's just not a match. It's all parallel energy. So, but with Holy Union, um, this is also a uh, soulmate connection. This is finding your tribe. Now, the higher that uh, you elevate up, and the more uh, your vibration rises, you, you, the people that are um, aren't with you are going to fall away in that connection and they will continue to you know um, just fall out of your life as you reconnect with other people places and things that will help sustain you in your new energy and I also just talked about this the other day spiritual awakening I'm not even going to butcher this woman's uh, beautiful name but spiritual awakening, um, the, the month of June is also um, a whole new set of souls are awakening. And those of us that have already begun the work are going to help facilitate leading them forward. Interconnectedness, understanding the inner workings. Because these souls have reached um, their frequency has reached just enough of a, a higher vibration it's connecting enough to bring them forward in, into more light so the divine director trusts the process creates space for divine order to unfold the expansion is huge right now uh, the integrations that we've been going through with the Schumann resonance and the solar flares, as you can see the light codes coming in, trusting that uh, what what is occurring now is meant to happen regardless of whether or not it, it it's bad or good. Breakups, uh, you know, moving on from jobs whatever pertains to your scenario we're creating we're getting rid of old things in our life to create space to allow the new to unfold because you regardless of whether or not you see it coming there are things being lined up for you in your life that are preparing you for the and, and you're being prepared for that movement forward so trust that you're headed in the right direction. Sometimes that's you, you just don't see it happening. There's no proof that things are happening, so you d you don't believe that it is. But some things are just very finite, or like you know, um, or there's just things behind the scenes. You don't need to see that process that's that's occurring, um, whether you know it's the other things are involved um just you know being your power be receptive and go about your business and if you're doing the things of like you know journaling setting up like vision board for yourself um it doesn't have to be anything fancy either i just sketch out on a piece of paper what i want to happen um uh, not what i want to happen excuse me i worded that wrong um putting things, um, key things in my life, um, a, as attainable goals for, you know, the future, the, the timeline, you know, uh, th that I want to reach, you know, that's, it's as simple as that for anybody. You set the intention and then you work at it a little bit at a time to help fulfill that goal. The Atlanteans, evolution vibration, 
legacy technology progress expect acceleration as we're heading into the age of Aquarius that expansion um, and that air sign is just huge um, we just open our minds completely up to um, um, that's what I've talked about in the past of we're beginning to use more of our brains whether it be telepathy we're developing we're develop, uh, beginning the <laughs> The phases of um, becoming a, a telepathic species where as time evolves on we will speak less and utilize our brain power to speak with each other we've only mastered using 10% of our brain all these years now is the time period where we move into expanding that where we will start utilizing the rest of the brain and you're going to start seeing tons of strides um, in the, in that in those areas scientifically uh, as we expand our minds. That AI and that development, that innovation will come into play. Now, you're going to see real quick turnovers and in innovation. And for those who can't keep up with it now, you think that's crazy. <laughs> It's um, it's you know we're wa we're watching evolution occur at triple the speed. Uh, time is faster now. Um, technology has equipped us with moving faster now. The energy is going there now too. So um, the Atlanteans are also here because um, I as a past Atlantean in one of my lifetimes. Um, also, they. Were, were destroyed as uh, their way of life was destroyed and they're here to help us facilitate not making the mistakes that they made during their time here uh, and for those of us who have been in that time and that time span no because we have an unusually high respect for the ocean uh, we love it but we also know the magnitude of its fierceness as we lived through the demolishing of of, of a whole light um, beings of life and their way of life because of that ocean This also resembles the arachnids. I, um, I've spoken earlier on about this. The arachnids are helping us realign the netting on the planet as it's shifting. The uh, poles are preparing to shift in the, the ley lines, um, the crystalline grid. Everything is shifting on the planet and there are different beings on this planet helping with that intricate fine-tuning of those circuits and pathways uh, the arachnids are helping with that interconnected webbing um, as well as the sparks who are aligning the um, almost like the jump starting of each connection Cosmic power. Those of us who are star seeds who are here right now are the ones who are needing to step up at this time to help guide the new levels of um, souls that are awakening. And in that cosmic power, there is a sacred mission for each. Person. Each person is a being here and fits into that webbing. One, one little person connect the dots for many people. They could be that one person in the middle that connects people, those bun that bunch of people, and so on and so forth. 
um, and in that interconnectedness is you know those main points those light those light workers are all holding down those codes and that information that's being channeled through them I am one of those uh, people on the planet at this time that's doing that and I do that for the section of the United States and I'm in its right hand corridor of the United States in the Wingland area a little beyond it as we take in those light codes we help impact a segment of the population around us and as we interact with souls even if it's for just a split second souls speak to each other we don't know that well I know they do but people that aren't aware of these things don't know that we're, the soul, our souls are in the 5D communicating all the time so in that interconnectedness we're helping to elevate the consciousness on the planet and to communicate that process Metatron and Sandalfon, absolutely um, Metatron I know has been with me um, incre more and more increasingly because he's the keeper of the Akashic records and he is helping me uh, with that because he's helping me to remember my past lives and the information that I behold from those past lives that I need to be awoken in this life um, with the gifts that I've you know increased through my lifetimes and carried on into each um, he helps me to remember that information. Uh, he's also here in, in support of my my expansion, which is why he is here for you all right now. Because in that expansion, um, the Kashuk records are needed because that's where all the information is from all of our lives. So, a sacred connection. Synchronicity, divine connection, understanding lessons. It's understanding that karma to move through it to help with that elevation. You can see taking in that information in the horizontal land, that fine tuning, that whole webbing as a whole planet the whole webbing all the way around taking in that information and rewiring all the way around the planet Commander Asha leadership activation time to evolve trusting your ability to guide others those of us uh, Commander Ashtar is actually one of the main um, guides that I speak to as of lately because he is um, the commander of the of the galactic uh, beings um, it's like if you were to watch Star Wars and you see Yoda and everybody it, it's kind of like <laughs> that scenario but um, he comes in representing those folks taking in that information gathering it all up and communicating it to those of us who were were placed here to lead other soul groups of souls as we move forward so I knew I needed to hurry up and get on YouTube and start speaking what I knew I needed to speak because there were souls awakening out there that needed to hear what I had to say I am their leader I know I'm a warrior from many, many lives, as well as, you know, the other things that I do with the, um, being the Reiki master, uh, working with herbs, and so on and so forth that I practice. That's the package of me. That's, I've already garnered all of that knowledge in past lives. I'm just here reawakening it in this lifetime to help facilitate why I'm here to move us forward in this lifetime. He is letting us all know, those of us that are the commanders here, what information is 
and he channels to us that information that any of those folks that are on the um, Galactic Command need to speak to us down here. Those leaders, anybody else that hasn't been activated is getting activated now. They will start spontaneously awakening now. Uh, their journey may take them. I mean, it's my awakening has been somewhat of, well, I, I, I can go back to at least 12 years ago, but really started profoundly six years ago when I became um, sick until I finally made it through my surgery and just kind of slowly started decreasing and this the spiritual awakening part could actually develop into something rather than being all caught up in my my health and my well-being at that time Mary Magdalene sacred vessel you are the answer be guided to your purpose those who are being awoken are being shown their purpose here the reason that their souls are here and what their journey has been all about how to utilize the tools that they have and where to go from here their path will show them that if they don't abide by that the universe will wake them up to that and that can get sketchy <laughs> if you don't like tower moments or big traumatic things happening in your life if you're given a soul journey and you've contracted you know these things that you need to do you know, it wasn't hard for me once I was finally awoken because I finally knew why I, I was, what I was meant to do and why I was here. Uh, as time went on, I figured out why things happened in my life and so on and so forth. But we are sacred vessels. We are here to do sacred work and we are protected. We are the light. You know, and Mary Magdalene herself as she holds a heart in her hand is you know she's representing that love we're here for love and to move us forward you are the answer be guided to your purpose and I just had to take this card because it was right under it when I, when I pulled this card I was like okay she's going to Mother Mary miraculous encounter divine experiences do not be afraid of being powerful this is something that we all go through when we're fully grasping the magnitude of the gifts that we have once you finally start getting your sea legs I say that all the time too <laughs> and you really start understanding your purpose and how important it is and practicing that I am love it fills you up and it completely motivates you because I don't know about you if any of you that watch this are, are where I'm at or know exactly what but when you get to this point and you just, you have that information, you're learning more, you're receiving more, you understand so much more expansively and, you know, throughout the whole galaxy and you just, it's really amazing and it's almost unimaginable, but at the same time explains so much don't be afraid because there is no fear in this love this why we're here you know we are light and even when our lives end here this meat too falls away from us and our light goes on to an you know we're just you know a product of the 3d at this time but that light soul that's in us plops right out of there and heads on the way to the next mission 
it is a miraculous encounter the what we are doing here it's absolutely amazing and as you can see the portal right behind her you know it's sacred it's magnificence you know a lot of these folks have endured things themselves to be on that other side to help guide us here and then there's just some of us that came here to simply do that as well something else that's why I'm I think it's the stack it's a sacred traveler deck. Let's see what we get out of here and I'll end the reading just because it's, it's already been almost 30 minutes and y'all have waited like a few days for me to do this. I made new business cards. I was so psyched. I made like a, um, I already had one type, but then I, I made up two different types. I was so excited when I got them, when I got them all in. <laughs> I like to change my business card every time I do them. Type you the spirit of the universe. What is the additional message that you have for us? Additional message that you have for us. So I have a genie that comes to me and um, I made a wish. <laughs> For office space. <laughs> no. My business to grow. Absolutely. Alrighty. Gonna take that too. Yeah. Wow. Yes, it was this dust, this duck. Alrighty. Traveling lightly. Simplify your life. We are getting, you know, that expansion requires us to dump stuff off and, but with that, you're simplifying your life, you know, whether it be age or not, I, the older I've gotten, the less I want is specific things that I want or I need or whatever, but miracles expect the what the wonders to emerge. I'll show you these cards actually, by the way, I'm hearing wishing on a star. 
Make the magic happen, folks, for yourself. Self-worth is a huge thing right now. I you, you go through it when you're on this journey. And, um, you know, I had horrible self-worth my whole life. You know, um, it's releasing that toxic patterning that helps you expand and widen open to for that reassuredness, that confidence, that strength that moves you forward now. Uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty because that's you. You're the treasure. It's been protected for a very, very long time by the dragon family. I have a dragon guide. His name's Drago. We are in a purification time right now because of all the shedding we've been doing. And we need to purify ourselves from that. Get that residual crap out of us. I keep having to go outside and ground myself. Because the energy that we're taking in and the stuff that we're, we're releasing, I didn't realize how bad it um, with us realigning on the planet, like I was just talking about earlier with those, uh, you know, those new fine lines and that webbing, we're also going through the same thing. You have to, to reestablish those connections with the ground so your body can process that new information coming in. It's, you know, it's, it's its own ecosystem. And uh, I keep, I just posted a short about that uh, real quick one. I keep having to go outside and put my feet on the ground and walk on the ground out in my yard just to help process this uh, energy coming in because as, as it comes in, things are going out. And um, with us, like I said, re recomputing, recalculating, you got to keep that process going and, you know, stay focused. Um, hold that course. Don't let... Um, you know, it's it's like people when they go on a diet, they have like one cookie, they have a fit. You know, just because you have one cookie doesn't mean you've lost your mind. You know, stay focused. You know, the there's no there's not a veil there anymore. You know, we're we're reach, reaching a point where there isn't a isn't a veil any. I don't. There has not been a veil for me. I've not had that that particular thing to deal with but because everything's becoming interconnected now but for those people that aren't aware of those things they're going to wonder what the heck is happening because they're going to see stuff they have no they are completely not <laughs> prepared for whatsoever but uh staying focused you know you're you're wise and discerned enough that you know and elevated up enough to um, have keen insight into that. And walk in grace and gratitude through everything and that expansion. Still allow that, you know, that joy into your light, life, that, that laughter. It's more important than ever to keep that high vibration. Um... You know, everyone's got emotions and we're going to deal with things here and there and stuff like that. But, you know, you don't stay in it all the time. You know, you work through it, you process it out, you deal with your emotions and your feelings and you move on. You stay in a soup and that's when you start having issues. We're beginning now. This is literally beginning now. We're taking that first step right now. I already got this the other day, too. All those mountains that used to be mountains aren't. We've carved the path. Uh, you know, things that are mountains. They We've been through so much now. They're just pathways in between little hills. We've chosen the, the, uh, the path of possibility. That wide open expansion... 
just breathing in that fresh air, ready to go. Swords, that discernment, you know, warrior, suit of armor, we're protected. It's sort of like the fool card all at the same time in the tarot deck. You know, ready to take that first leap forward. Ready to go. Because we're answering the call. The time is now. And this beautiful feminine opening that gate door. And there's the masculine. And he's ready. Those, those connections are coming together and this this gender neutral here folks this could be two males this could be two females this it's all in the energy you, you work in i know plenty of people who are males who are, are are you know they they operate in their feminine more and i know plenty of females who operate in their masculine more there's times where i operate in my masculine a lot more um, because it's action oriented and it, you know, it tends to be in the business aspects and those things, but there's plenty of times I'm in my feminine too, because I, as I've gotten older, I know how to mold the two together, um, incorporating them to f flow back and forth with them to utilize both of, you know, the masculine of and the feminine's gifts. But that, that gate's been opened. We're all walking through it now. Month of June. Buckle up for the rest of the, the year, though, folks. <laughs> it's a special time we're living in right now. It's a special time. It looks like crazy, kooky, nutty time, but I'll keep saying it over and over again. You know, you... We have a lot of old ways, patterning, systems, and structures that are no longer serving us anymore. <laughs> and I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. And I don't take a side on any of this. I am the observer now. I've chosen this path. I rise above all that, but I see how everything in, in the grand scheme of things are, are, are working. And this is... A, um, Overall, it's an overhaul. Um, it's not only in this country, it's all over the world. There are structures being torn down and we have to watch the ugly until the pretty comes out of it. It's it's how it goes. You can't just snap your fingers and things are gone and if things are fixed or whatever, that's, you know, progress takes time. Uh, regardless of whatever your points of view are on anything, the overall, the neutral vision of this is old structures that have that can no longer sustain us moving forward are demolishing right now. We are watching the destruction occur before our eyes and some people's destruction going with it because you can just simply watch the kookiness happening. But it's, that's what comes along with all of that. Especially if people aren't enlightened at all and they don't have their eyes open. When you're caught up in that matrix of the whole thing, then that's, you know, that's that patterning that you're, you're used to dealing with. And that's not what, that's not what's going to sustain us as a species moving forward. So, but in any case, I could sit here and talk about this all night long and you've waited a few days for this and 40 minutes. So... <laughs> Thank you for watching. I guess this is going to be a new reading for me. Um, my Divine Masters, a.k.a. the Ascended Masters reading. I'll be posting this once a week as well. I'm not sure which day I'll do it on. That could float around. Sometimes I do these readings and um, it's not something I need to do once a week because the energy is just not there for it. But, you know, I'm, I'm having a feeling I'm starting to do some of these readings once a week and starting to line up a system to do stuff because it's probably needed. That information is probably needed for somebody somewhere. So, anywho, have a great night, guys. Thank you for joining me here on Friday for my belated Divine Masters reading. And I will be back tomorrow for 
Saturday self care, and I already have information coming in on that, and there will be some um, products <laughs> for, for this one. So <laughs> it's weird. Energy is always changing, and it's still not at the same time. Mm, who knows? Anyways, guys, peace. Have a great night. Thank you for joining me.